Are you excited, Sophia? Yeah! For this experiment, we need some oil, a bowl so it doesn't explode all over the place, and some, some any kind of food coloring you want, and something to dro drop inside the oil, and some water. Do you know what those tablets are, Sophia? What thing? They're called Alka Seltzers. They're gonna, they're gonna help us. Uh, they're gonna help with the, the reaction. You'll see. Okay? okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's get started. So Daddy's gonna help us. Yeah. So we have our jar about three quarter way filled with the vegetable oil. Yeah, I'm gonna help. Us. So go ahead and pour the water. That's about half cup of water. Pour the water into the oil now. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, this is a bubble. So, so water is denser than oil, right? Yeah. So water is heavier than oil, so it sank to the bottom, see? Yeah. Into little blocks. <laughs> yeah. So the water sank to the bottom because it's heavier than oil. Now you're going to pour Achoo. some food coloring in there. I know What do you think is going to happen when you put the food coloring? Is it going to stay on top or is it going to sink to the bottom? I think it's going to stay on top. Let's see. Oh, it's sinking. It's sinking. See? So food coloring is water-based. So it's denser than the oh, oil. So it'll sink to the bottom and... Join the rest of the water blobs. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to pour in some of the alka seltzers. So go ahead and and place them in the in the jar. Ooh, you're you can pour a few more. Wow! Look at that, Sophia. Yeah, it's lava dropping. Look at some lava. More lava! Wow, Amira, look what's happening! Yeah! Yes! It's, oh my goodness, it's red and it's lava! It's red! Yeah, it's lava bubbles! It's lava bubbles! And lava! Ah, I'm gonna run away! Ah, it's gonna run away! Woo, oh my goodness! It looks like water. In this experiment, we will see two different scientific principles, density and polarity. Density is the measurement of how compact a substance is, or how much of it fits in a certain amount of space. If you measure an equal amount of oil and water, you'll find that water is heavier than the same amount of oil. This is because water molecules are packed more tightly together. A cup of water actually has more mass than a cup of oil. Because water is more dense than oil, it will sink to the bottom when the two are put together in the same container. The second principle we'll see is polarity. Polarity prevents the oil and water from mixing together. Water molecules are polar because they have an electrical charge that attract other atoms. Just like in a magnet where north poles are attracted to south poles or opposites attract, the positive end of the water molecule will connect with the negative end of other molecules. Oil molecules, however, are nonpolar. They don't have a positive or negative charge, so they are not attracted to the water molecules at all. 
This is why oil and water don't mix. In our lava lamp, the denser liquid, which is the red colored water, sinks to the bottom. The Alka-Seltzers react with the water to produce carbon dioxide gas bubbles. These stick to the water droplets. The water gas combination is less denser than the oil, so they rise to the top. At the top, the gas bubbles pop and escape into the air, allowing the dense water to sink back to the bottom again. And this process continues over and over as the reaction continues. So how fun was that, Sophia? Really fun. What did you think was gonna happen before you put the Alka Seltzer tablets in? What did you think? I think that it was gonna explode with the oil and then it was gonna Oh. Well, it did explode a little, but that's why we didn't fill up our jar all the way, right? So it wouldn't overflow. That was so much fun. Thank you for watching, friends. I hope you liked this video. I had so much fun doing this experiment with you. Bye. Subscribe for more fun videos.